Good evening and welcome to this uh, special session where I'm going to demonstrate the preparation of the subscriptions account. Uh, I have decided to do this lecture video because most of you have been asking how we handle ordinary subscriptions. So I want you to pay attention here so that I let you appreciate the preparation of the subscriptions account. So straight away into our discussion, uh, here in the case of the membership subscriptions account, we are saying that the annual membership subscriptions of clubs and societies are usually payable one year in advance. So we expect our members to pay their subscriptions which make them members one year in advance. So that is, of course, the uh, uh, the default, okay? That's the default. So we are saying the club or society, therefore, is going to receive money from members for the benefits which the members have actually not enjoyed, okay? The members have not yet enjoyed these benefits they are paying for. So we are saying in accounting, payments in advance by members being received in advance to the club or society must be shown in the statement of financial position of the club or society as a liability, okay, as a current liability. You have received money for a service that you have not yet offered. So that's a liability, definitely. So this is going to be shown in the statement of financial position of the club or society as a current liability to the extent that the year's membership has still to run as at the statement of financial position, okay? as at the financial statement date. So, you must show all of those subscriptions that have been paid in advance as a current liability. Now, it is a fact that not all members have money. Some members will say, ah, I'm going to pay later, okay? So, we shall have members that are going to be in areas, okay? They are going to be in areas. So, if members, when members are in areas with subscriptions, and all money to the club or society, they now become debtors, okay? They become receivables of that organization. And so, they're going to appear under current assets in the statement of financial position as subscriptions in areas, okay? As subscriptions in areas. So, when you see subscriptions in areas, just know these are obligations that members, our members have not yet fulfilled and therefore they are receivable on our part as the club. So these should be shown therefore as a separate item in the balance sheet and should not be netted off against the subscriptions in advance. So it is an accounting treatment. It is an accounting requirement that we shouldn't offset subscriptions in areas against the subscriptions in advance. We show the two separately on the face of our statement of financial position. Thus, okay, thus, all candidates, all those that are intending to sit for the financial accounting uh, examination should be aware and should be able to prepare the subscriptions account. Now, the subscriptions account is going to give us a reconciliation of all those subscriptions that have been paid in advance, those subscriptions that have been paid in areas, and again, the money that has come in. So when you look at our subscriptions account here on your screens right now, you will see that, um, of course, I'm going to indicate this is my debit. This is going to be my credit side right there. So if that is my debit side, on the debit, the area's balance brought forward is going to be shown as an opening balance on the debit side of the subscriptions account. And then definitely the advance balance, those subscriptions that have been paid in advance, brought forward are going to be shown on the credit side. So the meaning and interpretation of this is that the advances are credits, they are liabilities, whereas the areas are receivables, therefore they are debits. In nature, a debit uh, or a receivable is always on the debit side of the account and a liability is always on the credit side of the account. And again, to coordinate these two, the balance carried forward for advance will be on the credit and therefore the balance carried forward for the areas will be on the credit side so that it can uh, in turn come out as the opening balance 
in the new period for both the areas and the adverbs. Now, the money that has been paid towards clearance of the subscriptions, maybe it is in advance or in areas, whatever, is going to be shown on the credit side of the subscriptions account, okay? It's going to be shown on the credit side of the subscriptions account. So, after all these have been included, you have put your balance brought forward for the advances, for the areas, you have put the cash that has come in, uh, and of course, you've closed off the account there on both sides. There is this item here, this man called the income and expenditure balancing figure. So, the balancing figure that we, we are going to have in our subscriptions account will definitely represent the subscriptions that have been earned by our organization in this particular financial year. So, this figure is now picked up and taken to our income and expenditure account. I'm going to demonstrate with this one here with our activity number one. Now, activity number one, definitely you'll see how I'll pick up this figure and take it to the uh, income and expenditure account. But for now, I want you to master what is on the credit side and what is on the debit side and the reasons why those entries, not just for purposes of cramming this, but for understanding purposes. Definitely some of the accounting entries, you'll you be guided, okay? Like the cash account. When money comes in, we debit the cash account, and therefore the credit comes to the subscriptions account. That some of the entries here, you'll be able to uh, locate them as you try to understand fully the structure or the uh, build up of the subscriptions account. So this is one of the accounts that you will ideally not going to miss to prepare in the examination.